So I haven't even cleaned up the mess from my last video and I'm already making another one. Look at that. More stuff. I found these at Walmart, if you couldn't tell by the sticker. This is um, the new Spin Master stock car two packs. These are $8 at Walmart. A little pricey. I don't know if I'll be a completist with these. There are going to be more because this is series one. So they, I think, have more planned. I imagine will come out next year. But yeah, I finally got my hands on these. Grave Digger is really messed up. So we're definitely going to open that one. And yeah, I'm going to take a look at them. I'm holding my camera. I typically use something to prop it up. I'm just, I'm inside because it's dark out and I'm in my room. The lighting in here isn't the best. I actually think, okay, no, my light is not burned out. I thought one of my lights was burned out. It's not. So the lighting in here isn't the best and my camera is having trouble focusing because of it, but I'm trying to get these out because I don't have time to shoot these later. I'd have to do that on like Monday. I'm just drowning in, in college work. I'm going to Glendale on Friday for Monster Jam, and I'm just kind of trying to get stuff done, so just kind of living with it. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to start with. I think I'm going to start with Dalmatian. I'll just go in the middle, and we'll get to these two in the end. I don't know how I'm going to open this. You know, we'll try and open it with one hand because I, I can't. I have nothing to set my phone down on. Um, so I'll just. Oh yeah, I, I got in. I got in. I just kind of have to maneuver it. There we go. There we go. One-handed method. The one-handed method. Okay, so actually the um, the car is in the blister and then the truck's just on the bottom. I'll start with the truck because these are all repeats. Oh, oh, it's rolling away. Dalmatian's rolling away. Let me get the uh, trash here. Here's the packaging. Exclusive Monster Jam race car. Nice. Just gonna throw that on the ground. So here's Dalmatian. Um, Dalmatian's been released a lot. It was actually in the first ever mix of Spin Master Monster Jam. This version has a gray base, red chassis, red rims with BKT printing. I do like how all these have BKT printing. So at least makes them a little special. Uh, standard Dalmatian still have the ears up. Uh, this is like bugging me at this point because because normal mutt and rottweiler both got the ears down last year and dalmatian still hasn't gotten the ears down so it's like what the heck and it's being released again this year and still doesn't have the ears down so it's like come on but have some continuity but yeah it still has the ears up which bothers me there it is but the main attraction is the stock car which as you know last year Monster Jam and Kevin Harvick collaborated and did a Grave Digger NASCAR, and you know, we have one there. It was released in like I think it was like one twenty fourth or one eighteenth scale, and like a larger scale for like a hundred bucks. And that's the only diecast version we got of it. There have been people making custom Grave Digger NASCARs, but um, yeah, this one's. I mean, this one's not bad. Like. Spin Master doing this is it makes a lot of sense because of that uh, collaboration and you know now they have kind of the opportunity to experiment with some decos, albeit they don't have the number on the side like actual NASCARs, probably because of licensing. But we but we are getting yeah we're getting stock cars, Monster Jam stock cars, which is pretty cool. So Dalmatian, the wheels the wheels on these are kind of. Mm, I don't know. They're kind of, I mean, they're fine. They just kind of, they just feel really plasticky. They're not like a Hot Wheels or a, a Matchbox wheel. They just kind of look kind of bland, but eh, it's whatever. It's kind of a, that's kind of a nitpick. There's the base. Uh, here's the back. The back almost looks like a Dodge Charger. Um, it's got the Mosham logo, Mosham.com on the back. Monster Mutt logo right there with the collar. Mosham logo on the side with the mouth. Front looks like a Mustang. That is be very much based off a Mustang. And it does have a Monster Jam logo embossed in the front. It's got the nose on the hood. The top has the Monster Mutt Dalmatian dog collar. It does have a roll cage inside of it. And as you can see, this one is red. So you have a little um, net right there. 
Not bad. I actually do quite like these little uh, stock cars. For Spin Master's first attempt at doing a stock car, this is actually pretty good. It looks good. I quite like it. Next up's El Toro Loco. Let me put Domination off the side. Next up's El Toro Loco. Um, yeah, let me just try and crack it open again with one hand. Oh, before I move on, there's the render on the back. Uh, I didn't show it on Domination. There's the UPC in case you haven't found these yet. Actually, they all have different UPCs. No, actually, I think I think that that bottom number is just identifying the vehicle. But they're the UPC if you need to find these. In case you haven't found them, these have been out for like a month or two. Uh, but my Walmarts have just been really slow at getting product, and it's taken me a bit to get some of this stuff. But <laughs> it looks like it's starting to turn around. I still need to do a Mix Twenty Four video, which. I'm really only getting four trucks out of that mix. I already have two. I just need to find the others. Okay. Let me try and get the plastic insert out. And then there's El Toro. Let's get that out of the way. El Toro Loco. No negative space bar printing. I think they've started to do away with that. Uh, it's got a very bright... Is that a met no, it's not metallic. It's got a very bright yellow chassis with a gray base gray rims with the BKT print. Uh, it's just a standard El Toro Loco. Nothing really uh, special about it. It's just El Toro Loco, but a, another variation. What we're really interested in is the stock car. If I can push it out, which I can with one hand. Here it is. Uh, it is, of course, orange to match El Toro Loco. Mosham logo on the back, Mosham.com. Same front end. See it a little better now. The casting work very much looks like a Mustang. Side's got El Toro Loco on it with the flames and the Monster Jam logo. The top has the horns. And the front has the nose ring with the flames shooting out. Snorting flames. And the flames are on the back. Not a bad one. Oh, also it has window trim. Has black window trim with the uh, yellow net on the side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like El Toro Loco. That one's nice. This is this one I've only seen one of, and the card is completely miffed. It is Grave Digger. Of course, this one's going to be popular because, of course, the Kevin Harvick Monster Jam NASCAR was Grave Digger. And this is essentially the Grave Digger um, stock car. But just without the, the number on it. So it's, it's it's just the Kevin Harvick car without the Kevin Harvick branding or any of the sponsors. Which, you know, not bad. Not a bad compromise. Here's the truck. Standard Grave Digger. Gray rims with BKT print. Gray base. Kind of a... It's got a green chassis. They've actually released a Grave Digger very similar to this in Mix 9. I think it might have had a chrome base. I think that was the only difference. That might have even had a gray base. I don't even remember. So this might be a repeat, but I don't know. But it look, I mean, there's been some several corrections, so it wouldn't really matter. Like the flame color has been improved on in recent Gravedigger releases. Okay, NASCAR. Let's see if I can pull it out, which I'm having trouble with. Come on. It's, it's like almost there. Oh my gosh. There we go. Like I said, this is basically the Kevin Harvick stock car, just without any of the Kevin Harvick branding, so no number, also no sponsors. I ditched my nose, so it just disappeared out of frame. I like the headlights printed in. Very iconic. A Grave Digger has the hood stripe. Grave Digger logo. Two Mossram logos on either side. Grave Digger logo on the top with bad to the bone with the flames. The back is green. Mossram logo. Mossram.com. The ghost is on the back corner with the Gravedigger logo and the graveyard on the side with the moon and the haunted house. Masha logo there. The the net is green. And yeah, this one this one's pretty cool. Like oh, they also, they also have Monster Jam logos on the base. And the bases are pretty detailed. They do have a uh, some detail there. And that's Gravedigger. Overall, I'd say these stock cars are pretty cool. They're very nicely detailed. They're nicely constructed. They don't feel cheap. They're pretty nice, I will say. Um, I can't wait to see more. Maybe they'll do Megalodon or Dragon or a, another truck, maybe Earthshaker. Um, but I'm excited. Oh, Max D is an obvious one. But I'm excited to see what we get in the future. And uh, that's about it. See ya.